You know how when you're in school and the class next door to yours is having a party and they're having so much fun and then you're in your class stuck doing tests all day and you're thinking to yourself, man, I wish I was in that other class. They're having a party right now. They're having so much fun and I'm sitting here doing work all day. It kind of sucks. Yeah, that's how I feel right now as a Roblox YouTuber because all the Fortnite YouTubers, they're having so much fun and I'm not. Because Fortnite's doing everything right, and Roblox isn't. That's why I titled this video, Fortnite is destroying Roblox. Now, before you get angry and mad and upset, let me explain. All right, I know that's a controversial thing for me to say as a Roblox YouTuber, but let me explain, okay? So the whole reason I'm making this video is actually because of this here. So over the weekend, the Fortnite player counts actually reached, uh, look at that right there, 11 million players, 11.6 million. That's more players than Fortnite has ever had ever. More people are playing Fortnite right now than ever before. And not only are more people playing Fortnite right now than ever before, they actually beat Roblox in concurrent players periodically over the weekend. Take a look at this graph right here. So the purple line is Roblox and the blue line is Fortnite. And well, as you can see for the majority of this year, eh, Fortnite wasn't doing so hot. Roblox was absolutely destroying them, right? But lately, uh, uh, what, what happened? What's going on here? Fortnite's going up. They jumped up big time. Wait, what, what, what's going on? How did this happen? I don't understand what's going on. Like literally, if we look at this graph here, we can see that Fortnite Fortnite was on the, the, the decline. It was doing actually pretty bad. A lot of people were saying it fell off, but recently, look at that. What was that? What, 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 what's going on? What, what, what are they doing right? And well, they're actually doing a lot of things right that Roblox is doing wrong, at least in my opinion. But hopefully by the end of this video, you'll agree with me. So if you guys don't know, a few months ago, Fortnite actually changed how the game works. It's no longer just a battle royale game. If you go to the website, literally the first thing you see, it's a bunch of just user made games right here kind of like roblox and if you load up fortnite the first thing you see wait a minute this looks kind of familiar in fact it looks very familiar it's basically the roblox discover page it's almost the exact same like wait a minute here what's what's going on yeah so if you guys didn't know fortnite is trying to compete with roblox now right fortnite doesn't want to be just a battle royale game it wants to be an entire platform of games just like roblox which means for the first time in roblox's immediate history roblox has an actually really big competitor and they're doing really good right now and i'm afraid that if roblox doesn't start picking up the pace here if they don't start making some right decisions again at least in my opinion well we might could see Fortnite start to take over Roblox in the next few years. Again, let me explain. So to start off a few months ago, Fortnite released Fortnite OG, the original map, the original skins, the original weapons, the original game. They brought it back. Why? Because that's what the community wanted, right? The original game, OG stuff. It's awesome. Who doesn't love nostalgia? And while we got Fortnite over here fully embracing their past and OG history and everything, you know, the original players love, we got Roblox over here trying to get rid of blocky avatars and remove the blocky past of Roblox like they're ashamed of it and replacing it with these weird Mark Zuckerberg looking creepy metaverse avatars that are just absolutely terrifying. I mean, look at that hand. The size proportions aren't even correct. It looks like a bird now, i know i mentioned this in a recent video but yeah last year roblox was like hey guys if you're gonna make roblox advertisements you gotta use the new avatars you can't use classic r6 and r15 models you can't use classic roblox avatars so you got fortnite over here being like cool look at all this epic og stuff it's the original game check it out it's back and then you got um you got roblox like check that out look at that Look at that right there. You see that? That's awesome, right? That's so cool. Look at that. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. But that's not all. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive in a little bit further, shall we? Branded experience, aka branded games. Fortnite's been doing a lot of branded experiences lately. Lego Fortnite. Yeah, that's a brand game. That's an entire advertisement. It just doesn't feel like it because it's an actually fun game. Yeah, Rocket Racing. Guess what? This is a branded game. It's a brand advertisement. Again, it just doesn't feel like it because it's actually fun. Music festival, same thing. A lot of these are branded games or branded experiences. And I'm sure whenever I say the word branded experience, every Roblox player goes, yeah, get, get it away from me. Because you know, Roblox branded experiences kind of suck. Like for example, one of the biggest branded experiences on Fortnite, you got Lego Fortnite right here. It is, um, it's awesome. Everyone freaking loves it, man. 
And then if we go in Roblox and look up a recent branded experience, like this Hunger Games game here that came out, you know, to promote the new Hunger Games movie, you're probably thinking, wow, an official Hunger Games game on Roblox? That's awesome. We've never had like an official Hunger Games game. Let's play this. I can't wait to play the Hunger Games. This is great. And then you get in the game and it's like, wait a minute. What do you do in this game? You collect a hundred scavenger hunt items and then you answer trivia questions about the hunger games that's that's it you're telling me you made a hunger games game an official hunger games game on roblox and you don't even play the hunger games yay i can't wait to run around this game finding a hundred different scavenger items so that i can just not play the hunger games even though this is called you know the Hunger Games. Jack Reese tweeted about this too. He says, I cannot believe there is an official Hunger Games partnered game on Roblox and the game is not the actual Hunger Games. You go around collecting birds and guitars. That's like making a Transformers game and not putting Transformers in the game. I don't know. Look, this, this might be bad for me to say because, you know, this might be like a big brand. I might be losing out on a brand opportunity here. I don't know. But look, come on, dude. I don't know who approved the Hunger Games game, but whoever approved it, you got to get rid of them. You got to fire them or something like put them on a different team. You made a Hunger Games game where you don't play the Hunger Games. Why? Why, 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 why would you do that? Why, that made, tell, tell, explain to me, explain to me. Like, I, I would have loved to be in that room with that pitch. Like, hey, check this out. We're gonna make a Hunger Games game, but guess what? You ain't gonna play the Hunger Games. You're gonna walk around and collect guitar. Yeah, that's it. That's, uh, players are gonna love that. Like what 80 year old man in a boardroom full of other 80 year old men came up with this idea? Like, <laughs> meanwhile, here's Lego Fortnite where every single Fortnite skin you have can be a Lego character. And it's literally an entire Lego world where you can build and do whatever you want in Lego with all of your friends. That's crazy, right? That, that is making an actual game based on, you know, the, the brand. That's wild. I can't believe Fortnite figured it out, but Roblox just hasn't yet. How, how is that possible? You know, something else that grinds my gears. So Fortnite did like this giant music collaboration with like The Weeknd and a bunch of other song artists. And they made this entire Guitar Hero game that you can play. And it's actually really fun. It's I, I've actually genuinely been playing it. It's great. It's awesome. They made this entire game you can play. It's a collaboration with The Weeknd and it's so much fun. I wonder what music collaborations Roblox has done recently. I don't know. Let's go look. Oh, they did one with Nicki Minaj. That's like one of the biggest song artists of all time. Her game's got to be great, right? This has got to be... Oh, yeah. They made an entire game. This has got to be awesome. Let's go check it out. Nicki Minaj's Gag City. Okay. And um, the entire game is just you walking around buying avatar items that are inspired by Nicki Minaj and, and collecting the letters that are around the map it's it's another scavenger hunt game like that's cool i get to oh there's one right over there i i get to run around the map and look for the letters that spell out her name nikki that's that's cool and then i can go in here and take a photo and that's 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 great that's so much cool oh wow look i got it i got i got the end and um yeah, I mean, that's kind of really it. Yeah, that's the whole game. You just kind of go around and buy Nicki Minaj items and then um, and, and then find the letters to, uh, to her name. Meanwhile, over on Fortnite, you got like... It's an actual game that you can actually play. You don't just run around and look for scavenger hunt items. That's actually kind of cool. Wow, that's, that's, that's great. Fortnite also recently did an Eminem concert. And this was actually really, really cool. I mean, look at this. Like, look at this and compare this to the Nicki Minaj event, right? Like, it's, it's just, it's it's not even comparable, right? Now, I know it's probably not fair to compare the Nicki Minaj thing to, like, a full-on concert. Like, Roblox used to do concerts like this, right? Like, this was the 21 Pilots concert. But, like, the reason why I'm using that as a comparison is because Roblox doesn't do these anymore. They don't do them anymore. They stopped doing these, like, two years ago or something. Like, look is like 2021 i think this was like the last one that they did like fortnite's doing these like multiple times a year roblox hasn't done one in like what like two years now or something like that so like, i don't have anything else to compare it to and this is a recurring theme as we're about to find out right fortnite is doing all the cool stuff that roblox used to do let me explain like look at this if you go on fortnite and go up here to compete oh wow what's this is community events that everyone in the community can take part in that's awesome roblox stopped doing community events like four years ago and i know I complain about this a lot 
But Roblox said, this is what they said. They said, we're going to give you the tools to make your own community events. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're not going to do them anymore, but you guys can make them. It's been four years, Roblox. I'm looking all over the website here. I don't see anything with community events. You guys see community events anywhere? I don't see them. They're not right here. They're not up there. How long does it take? And this, this is what upsets me. It's like Fortnite is prioritizing all the stuff that everyone used to love about Roblox. And Roblox just isn't prioritizing that stuff anymore. Like... If Roblox cared about community events, they would have got the tools out, the features that allow us to make our own. They would have gotten it out years ago, right? They announced it in 2020. It's almost 2024. It's still not here. Like, if Roblox actually cared, they would have done this like that. They'd be like, oh, yeah, let's get this done. This is a huge priority but if we look at the roblox roadmap which is basically all the updates that are going to be coming out you know in like the next year or so it's not even on here they don't even mention community events like it's it's not even it's not even on here dude like it's, it's it's just not like where is it where's community events you said four years ago that you were going to do community events where are they at they you know they know where 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 are they, man? Where are they? Look, I can go on and on and on. But as I mentioned, it feels like Fortnite is just doing everything right right now, right? They're, they're doing a lot of community building. They're doing a lot of community events. They're releasing actually fun branded games. They've got all these fun music concerts going on. They've got all these cool events going on that they do throughout the year, right? That Roblox just, they stopped doing all of this years ago. They just stopped doing it all, you know? And it's just, it's so disappointing because like i see all the fortnite youtubers having so much fun and it's just like man i wish roblox still did stuff like that man i, I wish they still did stuff like that but they they, they 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 don't anyway let me know what you guys think below i'm gonna actually go play fortnite now because there's a bunch of cool stuff on there that's actually really fun so have a great day